much for watching. Welcome to Potter Month, Episode 1, Harry Potter Readathon. Today is July 1 and until July 7, I'll be reading Harry Potter books back to back. Hey guys, guess what? I did not read in the past couple of hours. I was actually trying to edit a video and guess what? I did not complete that too. Ha! Procrastination is my best friend. Did you know that? Did you know that? Did you know that? Anyway. Uh, I'm in the 11th chapter now and uh, hoping to finish it ASAP. That is the most possible way that I can do. And uh, trust me, I'm behind my to-do list. Okay, that's all. Uh, I think I'm just gonna go and um, get my shit together. Good morning, guys. It's day two of Harry Potter Readathon, and guess what? Yesterday I did finish Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, but unfortunately I could not do the wrap up because I was very, very tired. So yes, I did not. But that doesn't mean um I started book two, which I did not. <laughs> and well, guess what? I will not do pretty much anything today. I'll just focus on finishing this book. And I learned something yesterday that is I won't be forcing myself to finish the book because doing so I did not enjoy the book uh, somewhere uh, I was like let me get get through this let me finish this let me finish this so that, that was going on so I won't be doing that today I'll have fun reading books and yeah that's all well anyway I will start with uh... oh sorry I will start with Second, yes, I have got the for Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets in Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban because um, my friends gifted me these two books to me on my birthday last year and that is the reason I have these two and I don't know any other books so yes and yeah, that is about it I'll just get going I day three of the readathon and I, yesterday i completed a uh, chamber of secrets and i even started uh, harry potter and the prisoner of azkaban and somewhere in the starting page of i'm um, 50 pages into the book now i could not read much i drifted off while talking about the chamber of secrets i had forgotten how spooky how scary the book was i mean it is not similar to book one which was kind of lively this wasn't and the book just the series just get better and darker and scarier well anyway moving on to the third book on the third day that is prisoner of azkaban oh yeah i'm gonna go um have my cup of coffee and then get back with the book i'm so excited man uh, prisoner of azkaban is one of my favorites because love this book okay so let's see let's see if the feelings are same towards the book as it was before Yes, it's still my favorite book. That's it. I said it. Oh, yeah. uh, I just got done with the Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, and I cannot tell you how glad I am. I read it back, read it, re read it again. You know, I'm like, oh God, this is definitely, 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 without a doubt, is my favorite book. I cannot think that I do not like it. I mean. <sighs> Okay, this is a book where so many things happen, but at the end, things get so, so good. I'm definitely liking it. I don't know what to say. Okay, I'm just going to go and uh, start a goblet of fire. That's all. That is morning wizards, witches, and um, muggles. Today is day four of uh, Harry Potter Readathon, and I'm, I'm already reading um, Goblet of Fire. I'm somewhere in the seventh chapter. Yes, I'm going to go back and read Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Hoping to finish it ASAP. Hey guys, oh, well, it's day 5 and uh, the time is 12 30. Yesterday I could not finish Goblet of Fire, so I finished it today. I was way too lazy yesterday, and oh my god, and I slept half of the day. So, given that, given to that circumstances, I could not uh, finish it yesterday. Yeah. 
Yeah, that is also. I'm just, I'm just going to go and uh, start reading the thickest book, no, biggest book of the series. I'll see you soon. Hey guys, well, it's afternoon and you can see I'm sleeping. I'm literally very tired. I could not read yesterday. I, it's day six. <laughs> it's day six and I am in book five, Order of the Phoenix. And I cannot believe that the book is so frustratingly so slow man and why on earth is that so big seriously i can't i don't think i can do this anymore i'm reading ebooks and they are literally pain in the eyes well that being said i think i'll just go and uh, start and resume my reading i don't know okay good morning guys it's day seven and yesterday at like 12 12 12 30 at night i finished order of the phoenix i felt that it was way too uh lengthy i mean of course it is more than eight seven eight hundred and fifty pages or something it is so but the, the but the problem was the book was very slow paced and it had a uh, too much narration actually unwanted narration and one more thing that i realized yesterday was that i do not like order of the phoenix for you no know, i somewhat felt that everyone in this book was stupid except hermione granger i don't know i seriously did not like this book man probably i'll give this book another try okay. when i'll have much time and I'll, and well let's see what was what will happen at that time i mean if that can change my mindset for the books then it is great don't you think and well i did finish that today's day seven and and i have already started book six that is uh half blood prince i'm literally looking forward to, but fortunately or unfortunately uh I'll be meeting my friends today so so yeah if I'll be meeting them so I won't get much time to you know read so I'm not hoping to finish the two books today itself but I knew that I wouldn't be able to finish it but I thought if I can finish uh, Half Blood Prince today I can uh, anyway finish uh, uh, Deathly Hallows tomorrow I knew that but you know I'm uh, in a in a doubtful phase where I don't think I'll be finishing it because most of half my day is going to go with them. So yes, I'm not really sad because of that. But let's see, I'm just gonna go and read. See you soon. Hey guys, welcome to a day eight. Well, by this time I should have finished uh, the seven books. But as you can see, I have not. It's just unfortunate that I'm still in um guess what I'm in the last book. Oh god, it's just like a couple of hours ago I finished um book six uh half blood prince and oh my god i'm kind of i was kind of devastated and now i'll just go back to reading deadly hallows i hope i can finish that today man if i can finish that today then i think i read seven books in eight days that is something better i yes i'm some oh so i'm just gonna go and get with deadly hallows okay that's it hey guys it's day 10 and i finished deadly hallows on day 8 it was like a really late uh probably 12 30 or 1 o'clock that's when i finished deadly hallows oh god and why i'm shooting this on day 10 is because yesterday i was uh pretty much lazy and i was not doing anything i just slept and i was just resting whole day so i just did not take time to shoot this one um let's talk about uh, some important aspects first one is what was my experience of this readathon is well truth to be told i really feel that you can read seven books in seven days if you don't do anything anything in the sense don't sleep eat shit do work nothing just sit and read and read uh, you will get the book done all the books done in seven days you know uh, but if you are doing other stuffs if you are in a hectic schedule it is quite difficult to finish seven books in seven days but other than that i think it's possible it's really possible okay anyway so uh, my experience is that it was good one actually uh, the last year when i read all the seven books i took 14 to 15 days to finish it i took eight days in the, in the during this time so it's it's really good it's really good but Next time I'm reading, I don't think I'm going to do this whole readathon thing because it's not for me. This is really not for me. I take my time. I enjoy the book. I have fun reading, and I will. I will never force uh, finishing a book. So this was something not for me. Readathon is not for me. Uh, so yeah, that is about uh, readathon. Okay, the second thing I want to discuss about is uh, the things how uh, Harry Potter is very much 
is very much realistic to our life you know people may think it's a magical book it's a fantasy book it is it, it it's not it's it's a children's book children's book and all. but for me i don't think so when i was a when i was re- reading it for the first time it was a magical book for me too it, it's about magic it's about wizarding world it's about that it's about this lots of reasons but when i was re- rereading this book i felt that this is so much so much more than it was when i was reading for the first time you know this book discusses things that we don't discuss in regular life for example discrimination for even there is favoritism in this book and then the nepotism that is going on and there is currently been people are talking about this book deals with that also as you see snape is a partial man he what he does is he always favors his he is house student slytherin but he is always uh, a bully he never he never he never likes other house students so yes we see the favoritism going on and even dumbledore is like for for uh, uh, gryffindor team gryffindor house so we see certain such uh, we see certain aspects here that uh, we don't we don't really discuss in the real life and uh, the house elf think spew going on <laughs> the discrimination uh, there is black and white thing going on there is casteism going on there is all different uh, we we find ways to discriminate others we find ways to find differences in people so that we can, we kind of think that we are superior in some sort of way which is a bullshit okay and then we see a reporters thing going on rita with rita skeeter that is uh, you know reporters i'm i'm not blaming a particular reporter but there are certain times when reporters exaggerate things which actually uh, you know ignite some fear i don't know how to put this thing but yes rita skeeter is one for one and then second one is ministry how ministry ministry uh, here it is ministry of magic and we can see that uh, cornelius 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 fudge cornelius fudge is trying to uh, you know do not he doesn't want to believe that uh, voldemort is back even when there are certain proofs and uh, we see that a scrimgeour is also doing scrimgeour i'm sorry if i sp- if i'm spelling it wrong if i'm pronouncing it wrong he even he tries to hide certain things from the public we see that and somewhere or the other way we i think we find that those certain things happening in our world also you know uh, i'm not again i'm not pointing to a certain person because i don't know but somewhere i feel that they happen here also okay i don't i don't know if there might be others also but these are few of the examples i would like to give okay uh, and this book is not not just about uh, the things it discusses so much deeper is what i have found and yeah i don't know what i'm going to uh, what i'm going to learn the next time i read i read this book moving on to the next segment that is my favorite book in the series is a uh, deadly hallows and prisoner of azkaban these two are my top favorite and uh, the the book that i did not like is the order of the phoenix for some reason i did not like it at all probably it was because uh, it sh- it shows the reality like the kids how teenagers behave but i don't know i i seriously don't know man. i i did not like it at all but that may change so i, I think i'll reread the book again sometimes um and let's see if my feelings remain the same or they have changed in any way you know okay that is about uh, my favorite book and my least favorite book and about it guys um i'm going to give it i'm going to end it here i hope you all are doing good and uh, read books guys and one more thing if you have not read the books or even watched the movies then i recommend it to first read the books and then watch the movies that is a right process to do you know that okay i hope you all are safe stay healthy that is all man okay i'm going to go bye bye